Welcome back to Virginia This Morning Live here on CBS 6. Our next guest is a popular motivational entrepreneur and founder of the Never Stumble Consulting and Muscle to Bone Fitness. And today he joins us live by Zoom to talk about how you can achieve and maintain a positive mindset. We welcome Rob Roberts II back to Virginia this morning. Always great to be with you, Rob. Good morning. Good morning. Such a pleasure to be here with you. All right, Rob. So, I mean, we, I, you know, I was a disc jockey all my life, so songs pop into my mind when you, about almost any subject. So keep it on the sunny side, you know, and then, um, you know, the positive, throw away Mr. Negative, all of that stuff we've heard all our lives. And I guess anybody, if you think about it logically, you'd say, well, it's, it's great to have a positive mindset, but how is the question. Yes, maintaining a positive mindset is very important. I can't even stress it enough. We can dig into the philosophy of psychology and even theory of mind, but to make just to simplify it is changing the way we think. Developing the tools and the skills that we need in order to have emotional intelligence is very important. Emotional intelligence is truly essential. This is our capacity to be aware and in control of our emotions. This allows us to better know and understand how to handle our interpersonal relationships more empathetically and with good judgment. So say for example, you're driving down the street and someone cuts you off on the road. They maybe display a hand gesture that's inappropriate and they say, <laughs> say some words that we don't like. Well, we can have two choices. One, we could choose to get angry and get frustrated and maybe even have a road rage incident. Or two, we could say to ourselves, what if this person is rushing themselves to the hospital? What if they have a medical emergency? Maybe this gentleman, his wife is uh, pregnant and going into active labor right now in the back seat. So by changing your mindset and changing the way that you think, you're now able to maintain a positive mindset with any stimulus or circumstance. Rob, I feel like you were following me in the car on the way to work this morning because I'm not kidding. This happened to me. I was pulling out of my neighborhood and I was at a four-way stop. It was my turn to go and someone blew their horn at me and gave me a hand gesture. I didn't see closely enough what it was, but you knew what at it was. first it really made me frustrated. But I said, I'm going into work. It is Monday. I'm going to have a good attitude. I need to just let this go. It's okay. And um, yeah, it's not so easy in the moment because it's just more natural, I think, if you're not practicing this all the time to just get upset. But it, you really got to start right here, right? Yes, and I like the way that you said that too, because by developing emotional intelligence, we now will have those skills that will allow us to have that confrontational avoidance. So this way we'll realize that a bulldog can beat a skunk any day of the week. But the question is, is it really worth the stink? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that. All right. So, all right. I've got a question for you. So you make it in your mind to do that. <clears throat> so when I, like we were talking about me mowing grass, when I'm out there doing stuff and I make a mistake, I go, oh, Bill, you idiot. Come on, man. You knew better than that. And I talk to myself about in that way all the time. And I know that's not good. But it seems a little silly to say, good job, Bill. <laughs> you know? Yes. Well, celebrating those small victories is really important. And we do have to pay attention to the way that we see things. Um, a lot of times we can look at the same thing and either see a molehill or see a mountain, depending on the lens that we're viewing it through. So the way that you see things, we have to learn how to separate fact from fiction and understand that we can only control what we can control. Say, for instance, a lot of people have a nice weekend, but for some reason on that Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening, they start dreading that Monday. They start to feel a little odd. They even call it Blue Monday or Monday Blues. Mm -hmm. Well, Mon Mondays are beautiful. If we just kind of change the way that we see things, we'll realize that Mondays is it's like a fresh start. It's hitting that reset button, and you kind of you know work your way and set the tone for that week. Same thing with the weather. We cannot control the weather, so why are we getting frustrated about the weather? You ask someone, how are you doing today? And their response is, well, it's raining today. Well, <laughs> that shouldn't control our mood, attitude, and behavior. A rainy day is enjoyable. It's good for the soil, plants, fruits, vegetables, and nutrients. So. Changing the way that we see things will allow us to see ourselves and the world around us in a more effective and beautiful manner. Mm. All right, so we're going to change the way we think, which is key. I mean, that's obvious. there's a reason that was number one. Number two, the way we see things and looking at it, you know, whether it's a mountain or a molehill. What would be another easy way to kind of channel our brains into being positive? Yes, well, one last step that we could do is actually change the way we speak. 
if we actually realize that words are very powerful and not just the words that we say to others, but the words that we say to ourselves. So kind of like what you were saying earlier, sometimes we have to avoid that negative self-talk, which actually leads to self-sabotage. You hear people all the time say to themselves, oh, I'm such a klutz or oh, I'll never lose this weight. Well, we have to be careful of those words as well as other words that have a negative connotation associated with it. So say, for example, you're on the phone and you have someone on hold and you get back with them and you say, I am so sorry for the weight. We could change and replace that word sorry with the word thank you. And we could say, thank you for your patience. Same thing if we make a mistake when we're cutting the grass, right? Like you just mentioned. <laughs> well, instead of making the mistake and say, oh, silly me, I can't believe I made that. Or if someone points it out to you and you say, I'm sorry for that mistake. Now we could tell them, hey, thank you so much. Great catch. Thank you. So we have to be careful with the way that we say things externally and internally and kind of cross-examine ourselves to say, wow, sometimes we could be our toughest critic. You'll hear some people sometimes say a sentence and they'll end it with uh you know something like hey so do you like the way that that looks or they'll even say does that make sense you know or if that makes sense i don't know when people started doing this but it became really catchy when people yes. say if that makes sense well not only does that have a negative connotation with it well that could cause an emotional trigger in the person who's actually listening to you to say wow they're acting like i don't understand what they're saying are they trying to belittle me are they trying to degrade me so we have to be careful to avoid those words and just replace it with simply wow thank you very much if you have any questions please let me know rather than saying does that make sense or if that makes sense mm. I like that. Something yeah. that I've heard that has really stuck with me, uh, speaking of being your own worst critic, is I read something one time that said, talk to yourself the way that you would talk to your best friend. So many of us are our friend's biggest cheerleaders, but then when it comes to ourselves, we talk to ourselves completely different. You would never say that to your best friend or your coworker or, mm -mm. or someone else. And so um, I think it's getting into that mindset and, and making sure you're talking to yourself in a positive way, like you would talk to somebody else. You're absolutely right. And in order to maintain that positive mindset, we have to put this into practice internally so that it can show up externally. It's almost like looking for love. Everyone's trying to look for love, but if you're not full of love, then you're not overflowing with it to give it to someone else. Got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of work to do. You got this, Bill. You got this. I got this. We got this. Hey, we're all a work in progress. I'm telling you, we're getting better each and every day. And that right there is another example of negative self-talk. We, when we hear something, we have to immediately Challenge those negative thoughts. I'm really looking forward to the challenge, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. It was great talking with you. Thank and you so much. It's a pleasure to be on. Thank you so much, Aaron. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. If you need more information on Rob's Never Stumble Consulting or his Muscle to Bone Fitness business, we'll post a link on our show website by later today at WTVR.com slash VTM. Evan? That was great stuff. I, I am really guilty of negative self-talk. I do it all the time. No, no, no. Oh, oh. What's a positive spin? I just did it. Uh, you, uh, you know, Rob would know best, but, you know, you've got something that you can look forward to working on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The, the key is knowing that you're doing it okay. and you're acknowledging that you're doing it and just, you know, deciding to to make that change. It is easy to fall into that trap and talk like that. And, mm -hmm. you know, you don't mean any harm by it. It's easier to be a little self-deprecating. I shouldn't say anything else. <laughs> One of the things you did say, though, I really do all the time is I say fix what you can, not mm -hmm. what you can't. And then when I say it, I want that sounds like I'm not willing to take on a challenge. But there are some things that are out of your control. Mm -hmm. So you, it just. If you can fix this instead of that, then go there and do that and then yep. come back to that. Channel so. your energy into something you know you can complete, like mowing your lawn. You love seeing that finished product. Mm -hmm. You love seeing the task complete. Yep. Yeah, fix what okay. you can. Okay, so um, I think we've all learned a lot today. Yeah. And, and I've learned that I shouldn't say what pops in my head first. <laughs> so you try to control that and do a little bit better. Okay. But you know what? You are so positive. It is so much fun being with you. And, and, you know, there's little things that we can all work on to sort of get our mind into the best place it can be. But um, you are a ball of sunshine on a Monday morning and all through the week. For you, not for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope that you're going to stay tuned. Our Everywhere You Are segment, that should put a smile on your yeah. face. Yeah. It's coming up in less than three minutes. Woohoo! <laughs>